What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use entry boxes on canvases with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at using entry boxes on top of canvases. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last few videos, we've been working with the canvas a lot, uh, dealing with like resizing background images and resizing other things as well. And I've been getting a lot of questions about how do you use other widgets on top of canvases? So entry boxes, we've looked at buttons a little bit and text a little bit, uh, but entry boxes are a big one, text boxes, other things like that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use entry boxes on a canvas. So we're gonna make this little fake login screen here. I've got a little background image. We've got some entry boxes. When we click it, it disappears. A login button, when we click it, everything disappears. It, this isn't actually logging into anything. I'm just sort of a fake little thing to show you how to do this. Okay, so I've got a file called canvas underscore entry.py. It's our same basic Kenter starter code that we always use. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So I've, I set our app size to 323 by 576. It just happens to be the size of the little picture I'm gonna use for the background. Uh, so I've imported pill up here so we can use image TK and image. We don't necessarily need to do that because we're not gonna be resizing anything in this video because I showed you how to do that in the last video. In this video, we're just gonna look at using entry boxes with canvases. So we don't necessarily need this, but we've been using it for the last few videos to deal with image things, so I figured we'll just leave it there. So the first thing, let's define our background. I'm gonna call this BG, and this is gonna be an image TK, that's a lowercase k in there, and it's gonna be a photo image. And we can set the file equal to, and I've got my background sitting in images slash app slash bg.png. And you saw it earlier, that's a little uh, tree picture. And this images folder is sitting inside of our GUI directory so we can use a relative path here because this file is also sitting in the GUI directory. Otherwise we'd have to do something like C uh, GUI slash whatever, uh, but we don't have to do that. We can use a relative path. So, okay, that's that. So now let's create our canvas. So let's go my underscore canvas. And this is a canvas. We wanna put it in root and we want the width to be 323 and the height to be, let's see, 576, which was just the same dimensions of our app, right? And then we can go my underscore canvas dot pack to pack this guy onto the screen. We wanna fill equals both and we want to expand equals true so that the canvas fills out to the entire size of the app. Even though we set the width and height, we still need to expand it, otherwise it won't actually expand and fill everything. So, okay, that looks good. So, okay, now let's put the image on the canvas. So let's go my underscore canvas dot create underscore image. And we looked at this in the last couple of videos, how to do this. This should be uh, old hat by now. If you didn't see those videos, check the link in the comment section below for the playlist. And we want to set our background image to BG, which is this guy right here, right? We also want to anchor this in the northwest corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that looks okay. And we get this. Now, you'll notice there's sort of a uh, white border around this. Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And we can do that by coming up here where we define our canvas and set the border to zero. And we also want a highlight thickness. We'll set that equal to zero. We save this and run it. Now we don't get that sort of border around there. It looks more sort of sleek and stylish as an app normally would. So, okay, looking good. So now let's create our entry boxes. And I'm just gonna put two entry boxes uh, I'm going to call this one username entry, and this one will be password underscore entry. And like I said, we're making a fake login screen, so uh, that's what we'll call those. And this is going to be an entry box. We want to put it in root, and we want the font to equal. And let's do our normal Helvetica. And I'm going to make this like size 24, so the font's nice and big. Right off the bat, I'm also going to set the width to 14 and the foreground color to, uh, let me just paste this in, 336 
D92, which is sort of the uh, one of the highlight colors of our background image, right? So when the text, when we type the text into the text box, it'll have that sort of light blue color, which is what this is. I just got that from Photoshop and the color picker thing there. And I'm also going to give this a border of zero. So our entry boxes won't have a, a border. They'll just be flat. I think that probably looks a little bit nicer. So, okay, let's go ahead and just copy this whole thing and let's paste it in again. So, okay. Now we want to add the entry boxes to the canvas. And this is where the rub of this video comes in. So how do we put entry boxes on a canvas? How do you use them with a canvas? Well, with most widgets, except for uh, the text that we looked at in the last video, uh, buttons, entry things, most widgets, a good number of them at least, uh, you create a window and then you put the, the widget in the window and then you put the window in the canvas. And we looked at this with buttons in the last video, same exact concept. So I'm gonna create a username window and a password window. Those kind of correspond to the names we picked here for username entry and password entry. I'm just calling them window. And that's gonna be a my underscore canvas dot create underscore window. Now we can place this wherever we want on the screen. So I'll give it X, Y coordinates. I'm gonna put this at 34 and 290. So over 34 and down 290. I also wanna anchor this, I guess, sort of Northwest to give it a reference point. And now we give this a window of what? Well, we wanna put this entry widget in there. So we just place it right there, right? So, okay, pretty simple. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it again. So same thing, create window. We wanna change these numbers. Uh, we'll keep it at over 34, but we wanna put it down 370. I think that's probably a good number. And instead of UN entry as our window, we want this to be password entry. So let's go ahead and save this, make sure that looks okay. So, okay, we've got some stuff. Looks good. Notice the text is that sort of light blue color. There's no border around this, roughly centered. I just kind of eyeballed it and we're looking good. So, okay. So now for fun, let's just create a button. So I'm gonna call this login underscore button. And this is gonna be a button. We wanna put it in root. We want the text to equal login. And likewise, I'm gonna give this a font of, let's go Helvetica and a size of 20. I also wanna give this a width of 15, that'll stretch it to the size of our entry boxes. And I also wanna give this a foreground color of the same thing we gave this. I'm gonna use the same color, keep a nice theme throughout here. Now to add the button, we do the same thing that we did up here. So I'm gonna create this, I'm gonna call this login underscore BTN underscore window. And this is gonna be my, well actually, let's just go ahead and copy this whole thing. Paste it in again. So my canvas dot create window. Let's put this at 36 by 470. I think that should push it down a bit. And for the window, we want login button. So we could just paste that in. All right, let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that looks okay. All right, pretty good. So we got this button that stretches to the size of these things. And that's all there is to it. So strictly speaking, we're done. This is how you put entry boxes onto a canvas. Very, very easy. We can play around with this and have some fun. We can maybe, uh, let's have this say the username and let's have like, I don't know, stars come up here. But let's put some placeholder text in first. So password, we'll, we'll have it say password until you type, at which point it will turn into stars. That'd be fun, right? So let's see where we defined our entry boxes. Let's go un underscore entry dot insert. We want to insert into the zeroth position and let's put this as username. Let me just copy this. This will be password entry and we'll have this say password. Save this and run it. Make sure that looks okay. Okay, that's fine. Now when we click on this, I want this, this text to disappear, right? I don't want to have to hit delete to get rid of this. So whenever we mouse click on this, I want that to disappear. So let's do that, that'll be fun. Let's come down here and let's do a quick binding. Let's go bind the entry boxes. So let's go un underscore entry dot bind and we want something and let's 
call the function entry clear. We haven't created that yet. We'll create that in just a second. So we need two of these. We need one for the password entry and one for the regular entry. Now, what do we want to do? Well, whenever the button clicks on the entry field, we want something to happen. We want this function to run. So what is the binding for that? That is button dash one. We've looked at this before, just like that. So, okay, paste that in there. So now let's go ahead and create this function. So define entry clear function. So let's define it. We need to pass in an E for an argument, right? So whenever this is clicked, we want un underscore entry to delete whatever's in there at the zero thing from zero to end. So let's go ahead and copy this. We'll do the same thing for password. Now this will work as we'll see, but there's a problem with it and we'll look at that in just a second. So let's run this and see. So it says username, password. Now when I click on it, boom, that disappears and I can type my username. But then when I come down here and click on this to type my password, boom, it disappears again, which we can't have that. So let's fix that. We can fix that real quick with just a basic little if statement. So inside of here, let's go if uh, un underscore entry dot get, get whatever's in there. If that equals username or our password underscore entry field dot get equals password. So we're gonna run this if statement. If those things are true, if it says username or if the password field says password, then delete these things, otherwise don't. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. Fun with entry boxes. So now I can click on this, I can enter a code of me, my username, then I can come down here and I can type the password. But when I type this stuff, it shows up. We don't really want that. This is a password field. We would want like stars to show up. So how do we do that? Super easy. Go back to that same function. And just inside of here, let's go, let's uh, change text to stars. We can go password underscore entry dot config. And we want to set the show equals to that the star. So this will show a star whenever we type anything into our password entry field. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. So here we go. We type stuff in, it comes in as stars, we can type in our password. Okay, so looking good. Now we click this, nothing happens. Let's knock out a little function for that just for fun because hey, it's Tuesday. <laughs> We're having fun on Tuesday. So let's come back to our button. And where we defined it, let's give it a command of let's call this welcome. Right. And we haven't actually created that. So create welcome screen, maybe and let's define welcome. And what do we want to do here? Well, we want to clear the screen for one. So let's un entry dot destroy that guy and get rid of that box. And then password underscore entry dot we'll get rid of that one too. We can destroy that. And let's get rid of our button. So that was login underscore button dot destroy. And then maybe we want to uh, add a welcome message. So we can my underscore canvas dot create underscore text. We looked at this in the last video. And let's put this at position 160 by 450. So over 160 down 450. Let's give it a text of welcome. I don't know, right? We can give this a font of, let's go our trusty Helvetica. And let's give this a size of like 40, make it nice and big. And let's give it a fill equals white to make the color white. All right, so let's go ahead and save this, run it one more time. Uh oh, welcome is not defined. So we put the welcome in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy all of this. It needs to be above our button. Now let's just put it up here. Anywhere above the button will work because the function has to exist before the button exists. Otherwise, when you press the button, nothing will happen because it doesn't know what the function is. So we can click this, boom, now it says welcome and we're good to go. So, okay, what else can we do? Well, we've got this maximize and we can resize it and we didn't, do the functionality to resize all these things. Maybe we'll do that later. But in this video, I want to keep this non-resizable. So let's get rid of the function that allows us to resize our app. 
So we can head back over here and just up here at the top, we can just give this a root dot resizable. And we can set the width to false. And we can set the height to false also. So go ahead and save this. And let's just comment this. Uh, make sure app can't be resized. Save this, run it one more time. You'll notice this box up here is grayed out. You can't click it. And if we come down here and try and grab, there's nothing to grab, so we can't resize it. We can enter our thing, type in a password, click this, boom, and we're good to go. So uh, it's just a silly app that doesn't actually do anything. This isn't actually connecting to any authentication system, but you could do that if you want on the back end, slap a SQLite database on there or whatever and uh, do your thing. You probably know how to do that already. If you haven't, you can watch past videos where we went into database stuff, uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So entry boxes on Canvas, very easy to do. Most things on Canvas will work that way. You create a window, you put the window in the Canvas, and then you assign the widget to the window like we did with these entry boxes, and it's pretty simple. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. We pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.